Um, Two-part question. Uh, one, I am sort of new to politics. I'm 19, but I really want to gain knowledge about it. Mm -hmm. And I obviously know that you're very knowledgeable, and I just want to know, like, what do you suggest reading-wise, sure. newspaper-wise, just how I can gain a greater knowledge of politics so I can debate with people? Because I think that's really important is the ability to debate. Okay, so, you know, I am going to post a book list on my website because I have, like, if you gave me a specific topic, I could give you a list of recommended reading on any particular topic because mm -hmm. I spend all my time reading. I have... In my house, I have, I think, over 8,000 volumes. Uh, so, I mean, I, so I read incessantly. Uh, as far as the outlets, I would recommend that you read as many outlets as you can, because otherwise you end up in a bubble. So I do read Huffington Post, and I read New York Times, and I read WAPO, and I do read Daily Caller, and I check Drudge, and I do, you know, I, I check a wide variety of outlets, because I want to know what everybody's thinking from all different sides, and I think that it's imperative that everybody do that. It's actually one of the reasons why I think it's good that conservatives go to colleges like UCSB, because you're going to come here, and in all likelihood, you're going to get a bunch of lefty professors, and if you're smart, what you're going to do is you're going to go home and read about whether they're right or wrong, and take it not at face value, but with a grain of salt. I think that conservatives who actually do this come out much more politically knowledgeable than people on the left who go to college and just have their views reinforced. That's what happened to me when I was at UCLA. I got more conservative at UCLA. Uh, I got much more knowledgeable at UCLA because when you're confronted with ideas that you don't like, sometimes you're convinced and sometimes you fact check it and it turns out there's a reason you don't like those ideas. Great. And uh, second part, uh, I, you live in LA, correct? Yes, I do. Okay, I also live in LA. So I was just wondering, like, do you want to get coffee or something? Or <laughs> just, I mean, if you're, if you're free, I just, want, I just want to talk to you and just. I'm married and flattered, but no. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, but it's. I'm not talking to Milo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm happy to, I'm happy to, uh, we're going to, I think what we're going to do actually is we're going to build a studio soon for the podcast where we actually allow people to come in like once a month and have people come and sit in the studio, like have a bunch of seats. Great. So if people are up for that, then I think we're going to do that and that'd be fun. Awesome.